Hello everybody, welcome to the channel. Today we're going to do a Precure video. That's right, this is a gift that I got from my fiance. Being myself as well. It's uh, for the SH Figure Arts double pack of Cure Gelato and Cure Custard from Kita Kita Precure a la Mode. So let's get to it. Is that all? Thanks for tuning in. Check out the channel for figure videos and reviews. You like, maybe subscribe. Hit the bell, otherwise YouTube won't tell you I upload a jack sh** anymore. Anyways, so today we're going to Precure. And yes, I hope you guys like or girls like the background that I did. It's a... Uh, yeah, I'm still working on that. Regardless, let's take a look at the packaging here. And I must say, when it comes to the Sailor Moon line and the Precure line, holy crap does Tamashii Nations know how to design a package. Just take a look at how beautiful. Oh dear lord. Aqua, are you okay? So yes, the package design here, simply gorgeous. Whoever it is that's working at Tamashii Nations and has designed this packaging, two thumbs up from me, it's gorgeous. And it, this is a pricey set. Not only is it hard to find, but it ranges from the $130 to $150 price range, depending on where you find it. I got this off Mondo Rocket, and let's just take a look here. Look at the packaging. Oh my God, it is simply gorgeous. You know, just from the packaging alone, I would give this a 10 out of 10. But of course, we're not here to review the packaging, although I do feel that it's it adds some value to the figure. Let's get them out of there. Okay, everything looks good. We're gonna set the accessories aside and take a look at that in the accessories section. Artemis, you're drunk back there. So first up, I wanna take a look at Gelato and the detail here on her hair. Oh man, everything looks so nice. You get some shading there with the blue. It's not just one flat color. It's a lot of nice detail in that sculpt. And there is a ball joint there, so you can actually articulate it, which is great. Thank God they did that. The little crown there with the ice cream and the little lion ears. Everything looks cute as well as her expression, the default expression at least. Moving down the figure, you get some glossy paint done for her upper torso. Upper body looks good here. The arms look all right. Look at the big gloves that she has. Moving down to her little ice cream shaped dress. This is beautiful. Look at the little fold there. Little nice little details and creases in that dress. It's done, thankfully, with a soft rubbery plastic, so you can get those legs to move quite a bit, but of course, being that these are pre-cure figures, you're not gonna really get that many dynamic poses out of their legs. You're gonna be limited here. And uh, the tail here is nicely done. The sculpt for that is great. Moving down the legs, all the way down to her little lion-shaped Paw boots. Looks good. Everything looks great here with Gelato. Now in terms of articulation for Gelato, she can look down that much, look back around that much, given the normal neck joint. The hair is on a ball joint as well, so you can actually spin that around and move it towards and back just a little bit. Get her to move her head left and right. The arms are hindered, unfortunately, because of the puffy shoulder pads and these fluffy bits on her outfit but you do get some good range of articulation here you get a bend at the elbow there is bicep swivel there and the swivel hinge ball joint for the wrists for her torso you can get her to spin around just a little bit you can get her to bend back around that much but not really bend forward unfortunately and for the legs you can get them to spread out just a little bit before you start re reaching some resistance there. There is some swivel there at the legs, a double bend at the knee. Always be careful with these figures because of their very slim nature, as well as some articulation there for the ankle. No toe hinge, unfortunately. Moving on to Cure Custard, one of my personal favorites in particular. Look at the little squirrel ears here. Everything looks so great, as well as the Putin <laughs> headband that she has. Lots of nice details there, especially that glossy paint on that, as well as the cherries hanging from her choker. 
Everything looks so adorable. Here, little sideburn, curly sideburns here. The detail on her eyebrows, her eye decals, her default expression. Love the paintwork here done on the hair sculpt. Looks adorable. I like the shading there of the orange and light orange. Moving down the rest of the figure, these little shoulder pads are here. Nice light yellow bow. I gotta love the pudding motif here on her skirt. The custard looks great. And of course, the main attraction for Custard's figure arts is her tail. And it's a hollow plastic, so you don't have to worry about it weighing down the figure too much. Moving down to the legs, get a nice look at her undergarments. <laughs> and down to her legs, little flowery details done up. And of course, the little squirrel sandals. And the amount of detail done on this figure is so beautiful. Look at the little stripes there done on her tail. My god, they put a lot of work into the detail of these girls. Now let's move on to their articulation for Custard quickly. Her head can move back that much. Move down that much. Left and right, of course. Can tilt her side to side. No real neck joint going into the chest, but that's okay. The hair doesn't really like to move too much, so I wouldn't want to mess with that. Of course, like I said before, the tail does have a ball joint at the base, so you can get it to spin around a bit. Move forward and back. At the waist, there is a slight articulation there. You can get her to bend forward that much, but you're not going to get a lot of bend on that moving back. These shoulder pieces actually rotate on their own, so that's nice to know that they're not fully attached to that shoulder um, by glue, so that's always great. A bend at the elbow, ball joint, hinge mechanic for the wrists. Moving down to the legs, the skirt is unfortunately a harder plastic, so it's not going to give you that much leeway in terms of moving the legs. You can get her to split about a little bit, not too much. Kick forward, not too much unfortunately, and kick back a decent amount. There's a bend there at the knee, swivel at the upper thigh, thankfully, and the usual ankle joint for these kind of girls. Not really going to get any pivot out of that. It's very limited, but eh, try to work out with what you can. So quickly, let's run down their accessories. These girls are packed with accessories, and I couldn't be happier. First of all, they have their stands, which have a nice little ornate design with their cure name on them, of course, as they usually do in heart shapes. They also include their candy rods and sweet packs. Cure Gelato, of course, comes with her translucent guitar effect. They each have three changeable expressions, not including the ones that they come with, as well as a bunch of hands, which is awesome. And they even have Kirarim and Picario, and that's great that they even come with their own little bases so they can stand on. They don't fit as good as I would like, however, they get the job done. Simply adorable. So they even come with an extra neck peg, which is great in case you ever want to get her in a dynamic pose. So size comparisons time. Let's run through this real quickly. Here they are with some of their other contemporaries, such as Curiel. We got the useless goddess from Konosuba, the Figma. Of course, the SH figure arts Sailor Neptune. Hasbro Black Series, Princess Leia, as well as the Figma Metroid Prime 3 Power Suit Samus. They are okay in terms of articulation. Like I said before, unfortunately a lot of their components don't allow them to really move too much and it is quite limiting and a bit frightening to kind of move some of those skinnier joints. However, all things considered, you can use their stands in conjunction with the articulation to get them in some really cool poses and they come with a ton of accessories. So with that being said, is this set worth it? Well. For hardcore collectors and just fans of Precure in general, absolutely a must have. For everybody else, obviously you can probably pass on this and not really feel too bad about it. With that being said, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, maybe hit the like button and subscribe today. Are you a Precure fan? If not, what's wrong with you? Go check it out. Watch Precure, goddammit. Anyways, collect everything, connect everything. And Card will be popping up with some other videos you might be interested in, so you might want to check those out when you get the chance. Thanks for watching, everybody. I'll see you all soon.